One of the most common things that home inspectors find while inspecting an electrical panel is a double tap circuit breaker. So what's the problem with that? It's really only a problem when a circuit breaker isn't designed to be double tapped. Some are, some aren't. Thankfully, it's pretty easy for an inspector to figure out. And if you take a close look at where a wire connects to a circuit breaker, you'll see that most circuit breakers have a spot for one wire to comfortably connect. That's almost all that's needed to figure out whether a circuit breaker is designed for two wires. Yes, almost. But to be sure, you can also look for markings on the circuit breaker. So if you have two wires connected to a circuit breaker that isn't designed for two wires, you're saying it's a problem. Why is that? In short, it's just not a proper physical connection. The wires could come loose and potentially start a fire. Okay, so in the history of the universe, do you think a fire has ever actually started at a panel because of this? I really hope not, but it's possible. Luckily, it's pretty simple to correct. Okay, so what does that take? It depends. If the circuit is also overloaded, an electrician will need to split it off into two circuits, which means adding another circuit breaker to the panel. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Now, let's say it's not overloaded. Let's say one of the wires just goes to an outlet over here, another one goes over here, and it can still be on the same circuit. Then what's the fix? All that needs to happen is those two wires need to be disconnected from the circuit breaker, connected to another short wire, wire nutted together, and then that short wire gets reconnected to a new circuit breaker. And so now you have all good, proper physical connections, and this is like a five minute repair, right? Assuming that's all that's wrong, yes. Okay.